what is good you guys it's your boy joey sings and welcome back to the channel for a brand new video honey listen i am sitting in my car you guys after 8 a.m because nobody was here to open the restaurant this morning lord and i don't went home and came back and they still not here but anyways y'all we is back with a life update because so much has been happening in my life and i just been wanting to keep y'all updated and keep y'all you know informed and in the loop of what it is and what ain't happening with me y'all so yeah if you was not a backup singer before we get into the video but to get into the video go to become one smash the subscribe button as well as hit that bell to get notified when i upload brand new videos like these here we go yo what it do it's your boy joey sings and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video <laughs> all right you guys so first things first it has been march april may june july august september october november december it has been 10 months today since losing andy and y'all this has been an emotional journey i haven't been crying as much as i did um i think i'm getting to the point where like controlling my emotions is getting easier and easier thank you jesus because there are still days where i see little things or hear stuff and it just like it really tugs at my heartstrings and it gets me you guys but yeah these emotions are getting bearable um like i told my friend today i'm i don't think people ever fully heal from losing loved ones i feel like there's always gonna be that lingering just like oh i wish you were here and i'm okay with that because honestly i do still wish he was here but i know um i was always taught that god doesn't make any mistakes there is a time a reason and a meaning behind everything and whatever his reasoning was I just know that, you know, Andy was called home. He is no longer in pain. And that is why I kind of tell myself over and over and over again, just keep myself like balanced and like not wanting to freak out you guys. Also, fast forward, y'all. I have been at my job now since, Lord, for almost seven months now, I believe. Yeah, the 12th of this month will make seven months I've been at my job. Yay me. But y'all, it's slow season right now. And I mean, it is slow season, y'all. Yesterday, I had four tables before I went home. The day before that, I had zero tables. The day before that, I had one table. Like, I understand slow season, y'all, especially when you work on the beach and it's been raining and it's been cold. Ain't nobody coming to the beach, Amy. Period, y'all. Yeah. So, almost a year at this job. I, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, it's been stressful, um, especially since slow season hit. I've been ready to, like, find me a second job, but I keep, I keep trying to just, you know, go to work. Um, even when I leave with no money, at least I'm getting my hours in is what I try to tell myself. But yeah, it's hectic out here trying to be an adult and pay bills and feed yourself and keep the cars going and all this and all of that when you're doing it by yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's crazy. But anyways, y'all, I also am in a place where I think that I want to put myself back out there. I want to start meeting people again and hopefully find somebody who is gonna make me happy you know what i'm saying like i'm just i'm ready to be happy again whether it's by myself or with somebody else i am ready to be happy again i think i'm ready to start dating i am not 100 percent sure but it feels right it feels like i'm just ready to be in love again i'm ready to have somebody to come home to and cuddle and watch movies with and talk about tv shows like i just want I just want to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm happy. You know, I'm content in my own life. I go home, I watch my TV shows. I text message, Snapchat my friends. I like, girl, did you see this? Girl, you watch the mouse anger, bitch? Because listen, that's Neo, okay? Yeah, but I am ready to put myself back out there. I don't know if I'm ready to like be in a whole learn term committed relationship again. If it happens, it happens. But right now, I really am ready to date and have one person who I can call and one person I can talk to and just that one person, you know what I'm saying? I don't want a roster, I don't want a team, I just want one person. And call me cliche, call me basic, but I'm not one of them. I don't wanna be talking to Richard, Robert, Daniel, Terrence, Chris. I don't wanna do that. I wanna be talking to one person and one person only and we both be on the same page, y'all. So yeah, that is going on. What else is going on in my life, Lord? The most important thing that um I have not been wanting to sit down and really talk about because It happened last Tuesday night, um, and to me, it still feels unreal. It still 
doesn't feel real. I've had emotions since then. I've broken down since then. But um, we lost my aunt, my mom's younger sister. And it's just been, it's just been hell. I don't know mentally how much more I can take, but I am trying my best to put on my big boy draws and keep moving forward even when life is like punching me in my gut and dragging me down because losing my aunt is definitely hard, especially when you think about it. I'm my mama's firstborn. So, which means my mama had her child first, which means until my auntie had her son, I was everybody's child. You know what I'm saying? All my aunties took care of me. All my aunties, you know, spoiled me right in. And especially, you know, the auntie that passed away. Like, you know, we had our disagreements in life like anybody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody with their aunties that just don't get along. But my auntie was literally just a ball of goofiness, y'all. Like, I... Oh, yeah, we're not going to cry. We're not going to cry. We're not going to cry, y'all. But, oh, my goodness. I miss my auntie so much, y'all. Like... My auntie and my mama are like, my mama's like my number one supporter, but my auntie was like close second, baby. Like my auntie was on it. Like she was in my notifications. She was on my videos. Like my auntie was there. And uh, when you start losing people close to you, people who support you, stuff like that, it gets, it starts to leave doubts. Like, damn, okay, one of my biggest supporters ain't here. Who, who's gonna fill that spot? You know what I'm saying? Like, who go do that? Who go do that? Who go push me? You know what I'm saying? But that's been happening. So yeah, been dealing with that. Her services, her wait is Friday and her funeral is Saturday of next week. And I'm not ready. I am not ready. And like I said, we didn't have a memorial for Andy. They got him cremated. We were supposed to do something and they never did. So we've all just, I guess, just been dealing with it in our own little you know in our own ways but to think about actually going to my aunt's way and going to my aunt's funeral since losing andy and now dealing with this like i don't i, I honestly don't know how mentally i'm going to do this or how you know my feelings are gonna play out but it's a scary thing to think about y'all but in the midst of all of that um rex is getting so big Y'all, he is so big and so bad. I'm gonna insert some Rex content at the end of this life update because I got videos of him playing around and some pictures and stuff that I took, y'all. But Rex, Lord, Rex is getting so big, y'all. I don't even know who told me to get a puppy. I don't know, but I got him. And as much as I yell and scream, like, oh, I wanna get rid of him. He gotta go. Oh my gosh, you too loud. Rex is a part of my life. Now, y'all, he ain't going nowhere. He can't go nowhere. Like, I think... I'm attached to him already. Like, oh, he's just the cutest little thing when he ain't in there attacking and trying to chew up every little thing. Okay. Yes. If y'all have a puppy, let me know in the comments. Like, how was your puppy's energy? What you did to control his energy, her energy? Like, talk to me. Give me some tips and some tricks, okay, on getting him to calm down. Because, Lord, he be running. He be on 10 every time I let him out that crate, baby. So, listen. Yeah, y'all. That is my life. As of right now, um, yeah, I am looking for a second job or a new main job, just depending on how things fall into place. I am still sitting outside in my car waiting on my manager to get here. Um, she had to go get keys from the kitchen manager who, in my opinion, don't need to be a kitchen manager no more, but that's, that's a different topic, a different story for a different day, honey. He just, uh, y'all, but yeah. I wake up every morning at 5 a.m. I leave my house at 6.15 to be here by 6.45 because I have to be here at 7 to open. So on days like this, when there's no structure, no organization, no communication, and I'm just sitting in my car, yeah, I'm ready to beat people up because, oh my goodness, y'all, I can still be asleep, okay? My mama and my little sister are over for the weekend, Lord. They've been in my living room watching horror movies and stuff. I don't even do that, baby. I said, oh, y'all can have fun with that sugars. I don't do her, Lord. I heard they was what they was watching, Lord, the monster, monster NATO or something, baby. It was monsters coming out of tornadoes and stuff. And I said, see here, I heard the mom in there screaming at the TV. Yeah, that's for her. <laughs> Look, that is for her. I am not a horror movie type of person, y'all. But listen, that is my life, Lord. My life has been chaotic since February of 2021, 2022. Have, it's been however long. My life has been chaotic since we found since Andy got diagnosed. Then losing him, now losing my aunt, and 
I'm just, y'all, I'm just in one of those places where I'm just like, I need, it gotta be some peace somewhere. Something positive gotta happen. You know, something gotta pop in and pop up ASAP because I can't keep doing this, y'all. But y'all, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. If y'all enjoyed this little life update, y'all wanna see more videos like this, give this video a big old thumbs up. And then let me know what's going on in your life in the comments, honey. Choo -choo.